Hi, welcome to 7 Facts. This is the channel that holds the largest collection of facts about every single country, state or territory in the world. Today we begin a new series that's gonna be all about the French territories. But before we begin, I ask you to click the subscribe button. I upload three times a week, every week, so there's plenty of content. Guadeloupe is a small insular region of France located in the area known as the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean. The place is an overseas region of France, as you might have already guessed. It's not a big place, just 1600 square kilometers, but it is home to over 400,000 people, which makes it the largest and the most populous territory of the European Union in North America. Because, yes, Guadeloupe is legally an integral part of France, thus, by extension, it's also a part of the EU and the Eurozone. This means that, among other things, any EU citizen is free to settle and work there indefinitely, and vice versa. Christopher Columbus came across the islands in 1493 and named them after a Spanish monastery, but the Carib Indians who lived there resisted Spanish attempts to settle the islands. French colonists arrived in the 17th century though, and it became a French colony in 1635. There were several British occupations of Guadeloupe in the 18th and early 19th centuries, and a short period of Swedish rule, before it was restored to France. It became an official French department in 1946, and since the 1980s, it's a region of France. Basse-Terre is the capital city of Guadeloupe, although officially it has the designation of prefecture. Its history began as a result of war with the natives. The expedition sent to found a settlement in Guadeloupe moved around several times until in 1643 they founded a fort and a church in the city's present location. It was attacked and occupied several times by the British and was struck by several hurricanes, so it's actually a small miracle that Basse-Terre survived to this day. But survive it did, and today the city, although only the second largest in the territory, is still the administrative center of the island. If when thinking of Guadeloupe you imagine a tropical paradise, you're right. The islands have lovely white sand beaches, a rainforest that is brimming with wildlife, and if that weren't enough, the highest waterfall in the Caribbean. Well, it's actually a series of three spectacular waterfalls called Kerbe Falls, set amid tropical rainforests. It's obvious that Guadeloupe is a top tourist destination in the Caribbean, visited by hundreds of thousands of people each year. Of course, there's no such thing as a perfect paradise. Guadeloupe is home to an active volcano called La Grande Soufrière. It's located just south of Basse-Terre, so it's not exactly a harmless natural feature. Its last eruption was in 1976, which led to the evacuation of the southern part of the capital. More than 73,000 people were displaced over a course of three and a half months, but thanks to this preventive measure, there were no fatalities. Previously in 1843, an eruption killed over 5,000 people. In the aftermath of the 1976 eruption, the city center was practically depopulated for 20 years, despite attempts at renewal. For now, La Grande Soufrière is quiet, but scientists assure everyone that this state of affairs will not last for long. In 2009, Guadeloupe was the center of another eruption, the French Caribbean General Strikes. The General Strike began over the cost of living, prices of basic commodities and demands for an increase in the monthly salaries of low-income workers. Stores and gas stations in the private sector and public sector services including education, public transportation and sanitation were temporarily closed in Guadeloupe and Martinique due to the strike. 
The whole affair ended when the French government agreed to raise the salaries of the lowest paid by 200 euros and acceded to the strikers' top 20 demands. The strikes exposed deep ethnic, racial and class tensions and disparities within Guadeloupe and Martinique and devastated the tourism industry of both islands during the high season. The islands were believed to have lost millions of dollars in tourism revenue due to cancelled vacations and closed hotels, which didn't help at all since the territories have had and still have among the highest unemployment rates within the EU. The average population density in Guadeloupe is very high, around 248 people per square kilometer, more than double that of mainland France. One third of the land is devoted to agriculture and the mountainous areas are pretty much uninhabitable by humans, which causes this high density. And immigration doesn't help with this problem, because Guadeloupe is a wealthy country in comparison to the surrounding Caribbean islands, immigration is popular. People immigrate to Guadeloupe because of its stronger political stability and greater agricultural job opportunities. However, just because foreigners immigrate to Guadeloupe for its opportunities does not mean the region is economically stable. Rather, it is stable in comparison to the surrounding regions and islands. These issues are very hard to tackle and contribute to the high number of people living in poor conditions. These were 7 facts about Guadeloupe. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.